never cook. I serve milk and magnesia as a dip, which I find... Oh, oh! Very effective. You never have to make dinner. Where's everyone going? Oh, absolutely. My sex life is... Can we talk here? My sex life has changed. In the beginning, we'd have, like, you know, we'd make love, and we'd sit up and we'd talk. Now, ten minutes after we make love, he goes right to sleep. I'm always screaming, please, keep your eyes on the road. I mean, it's it just... It just because I'm not good in bed, okay? You, no, you should know yourself. Know thyself. I am not, I, it all goes back to my first sexual experience. I should be good in bed, because my first sexual experience was at 12, you know, this afternoon. But it, <laughs> my sex life is so bad, my G-spot has, has been declared a historical landmark. And, 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 and it's been so long, so long since we've had sex, I can't remember which one of us gets tied up. It, it just... <laughs> completely undressed. I said to him, Edgar, what does this remind you of? He said, our trip to Sag Harbor. And, and, <laughs> and so what you try to do is you, you, you compensate in other ways. Like, I, do you, re -dec you decorate a lot? <laughs> decorate, well, either your, your body or a cake or your house. Yeah, because I've been decorating. I find if there's no sex, then, like, make other things pretty. I've been, I, I got me a, a gay, well, I have a gay decorator now. <gasps> Vance, don't ask. We started with my bedroom. I now have three walkout closets. And it's just that. And he likes mirrors on ceilings. We put a ceiling mirror up now in my bathroom, which is really hot, except when you're flush, you think everything's coming at you. <laughs> One of my worst, I put $10,000 into this idiot scheme, a chain of Marie Osmond massage parlors. <laughs> is she a goody goody? <laughs> Except, if you read the Inquirer, Marie Osmond underneath all that goody 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 is a mean person. Oh, oh, grow up. I, can we talk? She, she told Helen Keller to shut up. I, I, one of the meanest people are though in the whole world? Nurses. No, you, when you, oh, when, oh, 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 don't get me sure all the men are going, yeah, well, they like me. Let a woman ask a nurse for help. No, am I, that's where there is a woman. Am I right? Go try to have a baby. Nurse, nurse, the baby's coming, not in my ward. Oh, they are nasty. I had a nurse in the hospital. Oh, I said, nurse, I think I'm bleeding internally. She said, swallow a band-aid. They are <laughs> collection. I, oh, and I walked in, you know, I was really pregnant, right? And then on my chart, under condition, she wrote ugly. I, oh, sure. <laughs> under age, she wrote bronze. I mean, I was not... I mean, oh, the, and the meanest thing was, because after I had my baby, nurses should be sweet. Don't you think they should say, you had a baby, huh? She brought a puppy wrapped in a blanket, brought it in. <laughs> Looks like you. I, I'm telling you this now is because my daughter, Mel it's my daughter Melissa, obviously who I gave birth to. Well, it could be somebody else, but that would be very stupid. Because I brought up Melissa, to hell with you. But, yeah, but um, my daughter is, is going to be 15 years old this month. And I, when you stop and think, 15 years ago this month, I was in Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City going, get this out of me! School, I was just not popular. My mother never talked to me. The kids, how many of you were popular in school? <laughs> Look at this. Nobody. <laughs> they all hate it. Nobody was popular. Oh, I'm so glad. I, they hated me in Larchmont. Oh, I was the only kid in school who had to pay a fare to get on the school bus. I mean, oh, just like some boys would carry home girls' books. They used to carry home my desk. And, we, and the kids would call me name. How many of you are name called? Isn't that, isn't that interesting? They used to call Fatso, Pig, Pig. Uh, uh, and finally, I went to my teacher, and I was crying. I was like eight years old. I said, the kids are calling me names. And she said, oh, you just imagine things, you little lousy creep. I mean, it was just, because I was ugly. And in high school, in the school yearbook, when they wrote, what is she going to be, they just wrote pig. I mean, they, just, oh, under my major, they wrote begging and fetching. I mean, it was just, isn't that cruel? 
and nobody took me to the prom. I mean, you stopped it, because I think teenage years are the most awful in your whole life, right? Everyone's going like, pucky, pucky, no one loves me. And, and my, our prom came, and nobody went to take me to the prom. I remember my mother was saying, listen, you know, pig, because she didn't like me either. <laughs> Mommy, mommy, the teacher calls me names. Don't be stupid, you fat pig. But, yeah, but, I kept saying, nobody wants to take me to the prom. And my mother said, your cousin will take you. And she didn't want to take me. And Because oh, my house is so filthy. Oh, my, Michael Jackson puts on both gloves before he walks in. My house, you know, see, my house, if it was not for break dancing, my floors would never get polished. I, 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 See, you gotta be clever, because I don't cook and I don't clean. If it's gonna be dirty, tough -o, I'm not gonna do it. Once, no, tough. Once a year, I call the police, I say, I've been robbed. They come over, they dust for fingerprints. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, you turned out to be good after all. What a pleasure to work.